Welcome back to the another exciting episode of Paxton Creek Garden. Today we're gonna talk about what's wrong with my tomato flowers. Why are they dropping? Why are the blossoms dropping? So let's get started. <music> So before we get started, uh, if you are new to our channel, please uh, subscribe and also press the bell icon, that way you will get a regular update. So here you can see some of my uh, tomato blossoms are turning yellow at the stem that is attaching itself to the main stem of the tomato uh, and the fruit branch. And here is another example, one of the blossom drop and the other one are turning yellow at the tip where it joins the bunch of fruits. Uh, the stem that joins the bunch of fruits and that can happen because of several reasons so here is another example I'll show you uh, this is happening on pretty much all of my plant and I have planted them in the ground so I'm 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 surprised that this happened and um, I'm trying to fix it and I'll show you the fixes um, again and here is the bunch that I just uh, you know cut it off because they were gonna drop anyway and this situation is called blossom drop and again that can happen because of several reasons and here is the best uh, example of the blossom drop here you see I just kind of give it a little tap and it just drops and it was eventually gonna drop by on on its own because it was yellow and even that will drop, I believe. Um, so let's talk about what is blossom drop and why it happens and how we can fix it. So what is blossom drop? Blossom drop is when you notice that the stem are yellowing just before the blossom drops off. Um, that is somewhat of a common problem on tomatoes and it occurs because a flower hasn't been pollinated since the flower is not going to turn into a fruit, the plant just aborts it. And the second thing could happen is plant is produce, already producing excess amount of fruit and then it would just abort some of the flowers to make sure it stays thin and it can provide enough nutrition to other uh, tomatoes that it's producing. The third possible cause could be uh, the temperatures. Uh, blossom drop is usually worse when the weather hits uh, hot temperatures and temperatures are above 90 degrees Fahrenheit or sometimes temperature uh, at night could go below 50 and tomatoes don't like that and the pollen at that time uh, during the temperatures below 50 and above 90 pollen is unviable so you cannot pollen even insects won't be able to pollinate your tomatoes fourth thing could be uh, nitrogen insufficiency. that could be also kind of a possible cause for turning the stems to yellow but that will have more more tomato parts that will turn yellow not just the fruit stems so you will notice it uh, uh, notice it pretty easily now let's talk about how to fix it for a pollination if it, if you are having a pollination issue you could become your own bee and <laughs> and you can start poll uh, pollinating tomatoes by hand. Um, I'll leave the link uh, down below in the description for how to hand pollinate tomatoes using electric toothbrush and just your fingers. So I have made a video on it, I'll leave the link down below. So check it out. If the temperatures are rising above 90 or if the night temperatures are falling below 50, then there is nothing much you can do about it. If, if you are growing in a container, you might want to move your plant to the greenhouse that way you may somewhat control the temperature but if you are growing them in the ground there is not much you can do except wait for the temperature to either drop down below 90 or rise above 50. If this is happening because of a nutrient nutrition imbalance like nitrogen uh, and other um, you can fertilize it using either 10-10-10 fertilizer or some kind of organic fertilizer or foliar spray and that should take care of it if you if it's happening because of nutrition deficiency so th that is uh, that is it you can do to prevent this situation you know uh, and the main cause again is uh, the pollination it, it is not being pollinated because of temperature or most likely your uh, insects aren't active yet um, so what you can do in the meantime is become your own pollinator like i suggested earlier 
and start pollinating them by the hand or toothbrush. Um, and again, I have made the video, I'll leave the link down below. I know I'm repeating myself, but check out that link. And that should help avoid this issue. And mostly tomatoes flower would pollinate themselves using wind or insects. Um, and they will get pollinated um, by themselves. So you may, you ha you may want to plant your tomatoes where wind uh, could be coming in uh, every now and then that, and that could pollinate. So you, again, if you have it in container, you might want to move container in an open space where uh, you could have more wind flow through. So that could also help. You can shake your plants as well, that could help. So there are a bunch of ways uh, to mitigate it. So again, make sure to pollinate your tomato, either hand, uh, you know, using your fingers or toothbrush, however you want to do it, or just, you know, giving, giving it a shake, to giving tomato uh, stems a shake, and that should do it. And that should take care of this issue. Um, so if you like this video, please press the like button. Also share this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press bell icon that way you will get a regular update. See you in the next video.